Hello, this is James from Mo Technical. Today we are starting a new video series on our Edim Plus software. We're going to start with how to create a simple program using the Setup Assistant. This tutorial assumes that you have already set up your networking for your MPU. Right now I'm connected to mine on this current address, but your address will differ. And first things we will be going through are in the configuration page. We need to add our hardware into the system. This can be done multiple ways, individually by adding modules here and plates and contacts at the bottom here, or by using the add hardware option at the top here, which we're going to do today. In this example, I have a trailing edge module for main stimming and a relay module for switched channels, along with three 10 button keypads. Once I've selected that hardware, I can then press OK and it will say, are you sure? I'm going to say yes. And then all of this hardware is added below. We need to make sure that our modules are on the addresses that are actually scrolling on the front of the screens of the modules. In this case, my modules are not on these addresses. I'm going to change them. So this one will actually be on address two and my relay module will be on address three. Next on the list is to set up the areas that are involved. We go up to these tabs across the top here. We add plus and I'm going to add my first area, which is going to be kitchen. Then I'm going to add another one, which will be living room. And then one final area, which is going to be dining room. Now that I have my area set up across the top, we need to now start putting our circuits and our plates into those areas. This will allow our scene assistant to make us some of the basic programming that we require. Starting with the trailing edge module, I hit the spanner option here and now I can start putting these four circuits into the areas that they belong. In this case I have a kitchen, a living room on those circuits and then a dining room on the following ones. Naming is important at this point. The more you can name the circuits the better off your program will be and easier to read. So in this case I have kitchen down lights. I have down lights in my living room. And in my dining room, I have down lights and I have one pendant. Then I go and OK all of that. And you can see here that the naming has changed for each of these circuits now and they are ready to go. I will do the same now with some uh, relays. So I, again, kitchen, living room has two circuits this time and a dining room. So these are all going to be five amp circuits. And then once they're all set up, I can hit OK and away we go. Lastly on this, I need to set the areas for the plates. I can do that again by hitting the spanner option for the plate. And up here I can select what area it belongs. And you'll see me now do that for all three of these plates to make sure that they're in their correct areas. Okay, now that we have set everything into the correct areas, I can go up here and use the Tools Scene Assistant. In this case, I want it to do all three of the rooms I've just set up, which is what it's doing automatically here. I can then click OK, and now the basic logic for a system has now been built. You can edit anything that's going on in here, but this is a good starting point. And to prove that this is all working, I can now go over to the side here to the control and adjustments. And now I'm in the control page. I can now go over to each of the plates and press some of the buttons. And we can see that uh, the scenes are changing and corresponding correctly. The logic is all set up for us. We've not had to do any effort at that point. And that will just work for now as a basic system. The only thing over and above this that I will say is that if we now hit the adjustments page, we can see each of these scenes that we have created for each of the buttons. And if I'm not overly happy with, say, for example, the fourth scene on the dining room plate, 
uh, I find that my down lights are not quite uh, bright enough in this particular scene I can now adjust those and I actually want the 5 amps off in this scene I can uh, press the open there and this would all be happening in real time so this would be in the room and I can now hit OK and those changes will be saved to the configuration and we should be able to see some of that has actually changed on the on the fourth button here so yes okay so that is the basics of building a program we will be following more in-depth topics in future videos and please subscribe to the channel for future content